Okay, I wanted to show you in process part way through. Pretty simple operation. Okay, you have two sides, remember, a 120 volt over here and a 120 volt here and a ground up through the middle. All right, so just try to organize and then I'm bending the leads over so that we'll have 120 volts here, 120 volts here, and ground up through the center. Okay, and then we'll uh, go on further and then of course we'll solder them together. But you see how that resembles that schematic. Okay. And uh, so you can better understand. I know not not everybody is an electrician, electronics technician. So, you know, a little comparison to see how things go. All right. I'll carry on. Okay. Like I said, uh, I wanted to get 178 volts total, so I got uh, 160 and an 18 volt. The CA means that it's bi-directional, and I just twist them together, and that way I have a 178 volt capability and I just drop them in the holes then I'll trim those off and I'll have uh, some nice uh, bi-directional transient voltage diodes that's how I make mine okay I had the Tops of these cut down, ready for soldering. We're gonna go ahead and solder all this stuff up, and then uh, show it to you when you're done. When it's done, um, if you don't know basics of soldering, you should probably find a tutorial online. But this is basically the setup, and we should have about 50 kilowatts or kiloamps right here 50 kiloamps each one of these are four and a half okay kiloamps each one of these are three three six nine and we got two of those rows so you're talking to 18 kiloamps right there um, we should be in pretty good shape. Pretty good shape. Okay, I added two more MOVs on here um, because I had them. Uh, they were the last ones in my little box over there. Anyway, um, my total comes up to uh, two gas discharge, 25 kiloamps each. Um, metal oxide varistors, I have six of them. At, this is per channel now. One, two per channel. And these are for the 120 volt leg. Okay. Six metal oxide varistors at four and a half thousand. And then uh, TVS diodes, I have 12 of them at 1.5 K each per channel okay comes to about 95 kiloamps that's what it should be able to take care of and if everything works all at the same time and in order uh, that's what we're going to be able to suppress. So, if only the diodes work, 
because of the voltage we still have 18,000 kiloamps if only the metal oxide varistors work we have 27,000 amps of suppression if just the gas discharge tubes work we have 50,000 amps worth of suppression but with everything working together um, it comes up to about 95,000 amps which is what I was trying to shoot for as close to a hundred thousand as I can get using these three technologies together in one package should stop an EMP pulse should stop a lightning strike nearby should um, protect you from any voltage spikes over um, 178 volts which is peak is 170 volts on a, a 120 volt line remember you're looking at a sine wave and your voltmeter only checks for root mean squared which is your effective voltage of 120 volts but the actual peak voltage is 170 169 okay it's 170 volts so you have to go by that peak when you're choosing your uh, diodes and the closest ones I could get were uh, 160s plus an 18 and uh, 18 they just don't have a uh, the ones that I wanted at a good price <laughs> so that's what I got uh, and uh, and they work I tested them I used uh, uh, variable voltage AC power supply and uh, cranked it up and watched when they started to conduct so this is a tested uh, item and I like I said I have them in my house so I'm just making this one for a friend all right I'll uh, solder them up and get them into a box and uh, probably use a little project box or something like that you know and uh, get them in there seal it up good and uh, ship it out Okay, soldering complete. I have uh, leg number one. I have the ground. And I have leg number two. So, that's how it's wired up. I put a couple extra MOVs on there, 200 volt ones just for fun because I had them I'm not sure how well that will work but if the voltage spikes above the 200 range um, that ought to help remember MOVs the voltage rating is a AC rating so if it's 130 it's 130 AC the DC rating on them is actually different you can see everything's uh, ready to go I just gotta hook up my wires and this unit is done I'll probably throw some enamel on there just to insulate it uh, and protect it a little bit from any corrosion or any moisture and that'll be that